May 24, 1581 a Spanish bishop arrived in Pater, Peru, a small coastal village which was about 1,000 kilometers away from Lima, the capital of Peru. His first action was to walk the distance on foot so that he can get to know the terrain and his flock. His diocese was spread over 466,000 square kilometers. He made the circuit of his diocese three times, covering many miles of jungle trails. He is Saint Toribio Alfonso de Mogrovo, the bishop who baptized such saints as Rose of Lima and Martin de Poz. Toribio, born in 1538, came from a very wealthy and noble family from Leon, Spain. Although little is known about his parents, Toribio was named after the Spanish Saint Toribius of Astorga. He certainly might have received excellent Catholic education. As a young man, he pursued his education by studying law at the University of Salamanca. After graduation he became professor of law at the same university, and became well known as a brilliant scholar with a deep understanding of the Catholic faith. King Philip II knew the qualities of Toribio and nominated the young lawyer to be Grand Inquisitor for the Spanish Inquisition. Toribio, opposing such a dignified post, refused this appointment by telling that only clerics could take such ecclesiastical titles. However, King Philip was adamant, and wrote to the Pope, who approved of the appointment. Toribio accepted the position, he was ordained for this. After Father Toribio served a few years as Grand Inquisitor, King Philip II called him to become Bishop of Lima, Peru in 1578. In Peru, Toribio labored to reform the clergy and the government officials who abused their positions and persecuted the natives. Naturally, he incurred the displeasure of the privileged as he championed the cause of the lowly and poor. Bishop Toribio's source of strength was daily mass, frequent confession, daily prayer and meditation, as well as penance, fasting, and many hours spent before the Holy Eucharist. He traveled alone, and endured the hardships of an inclement weather and possibility of diseases from infection from various parasites. In order to more clearly understand and to be more clearly understood, he spent many hours studying the local dialects, even until the day he died. He died on March 23, 1606.